NS stands for name server and is just one of many resource record types in the domain name system. The primary purpose of an NS record is to associate a domain name with a name server and I'll explain exactly what that means as well as give you plenty of examples, but first you need to understand what a name server actually is. Simply put, a name server is a physical server that stores the individual DNS records for one or more domain names. Every name server has its own domain name that is usually a subdomain starting with NS, and that is the purpose of an NS record, specifically to associate a domain name with its name server. NS records look similar to other DNS records and have a name, time to live, and value. One of the major requirements of NS records is that there should be at least two name servers for each domain, and each name server should resolve to a unique IP address. The reason for the redundancy is in case one name server goes offline, DNS queries can go to another one. Without multiple name servers in this case, websites won't load. During normal operation, the primary name server will respond to DNS queries for lookups like A records, which map domain names to IP addresses, and C name records, which map domain names to other domain names. You can use the NSLOOKUP command to find the primary name server for a domain by typing NSLOOKUP set type equals SOA, the domain name, and this right here is the primary name server. Alternatively, you can use the dig command like this to list all the NS records for a particular domain name. Another option is to use an online tool like dnschecker.org to do the NS lookup right from within a web browser. Most times when you purchase a domain name from your web hosting provider, your NS records are automatically set up for you like they are here for me in my DreamHost account. A time when you have to change your NS records is when you buy a domain name from somewhere else that's not your web hosting provider. In this situation, you have a choice. You can either give Google Domains the name servers of DreamHost and manage your DNS records there, or give DreamHost the name servers of Google Domains and manage your DNS records there. You actually also have another option to use a third-party DNS network provider like Cloudflare to manage your DNS records. In this case, you'd simply provide the name servers of Cloudflare to both your web hosting provider and your domain registrar. This video was a basic overview of NS records and name servers, and if it provided some value to you, then subscribe to this channel and check out this playlist next to learn more about the most common DNS record types.